This video was produced by the UCD Maths Support Centre in conjunction with the UCD Access Centre. In this video, we're going to be looking at various ways of finding the equation of a circle of the form that involves f, g and c, given various bits of information about the circle. So before we begin, just to remind you that the formula, the general form for a circle is x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. So whatever information we're given, we're going to be looking to find the equation of a circle which looks like this. So the first type of question we may be asked is a question where we are given three points on the circle. So our example here is to find the equation of the circle S which passes through the points 1, 1, 2, 3 and 3, minus 1. So the solution in this case is to first we write down our general form, and if we're told that these points are on the circle, that means they satisfy this equation for the given x and y values. So for the case of the point 1, 1, our x value is 1, our y value is 1, so everywhere in this equation, where we see an x, we're going to write 1, where we see a y, we're going to write 1, so we'll have 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2g times 1 plus 2f times 1 plus c equals 0. So we get an equation there of 2g plus 2f plus 2c equals minus 2, just bringing these minus these 1s to the other side of the equals. So that gives us one equation but we don't know our g, we don't know our f, and we don't know our c. So our next option is to look at the second point, 2, 3. So here our x is going to be 2, and our y is going to be 3. So again, we fill in those values, so x squared plus y squared plus 2g times x plus 2f times y plus c equals 0. Simplifying this equation and bringing these constants to the other side of the equals, we get a second equation, 4g plus 6f plus c equals minus 13. So here we have two equations, but we actually have three unknowns. So simultaneous equations won't work here because we have more unknowns than we have equations. But we were given a third point, so we can do this process again for the point 3, 1, so our x is now 3, our y is now minus 1, and if we fill those values into our equation, and if we simplify bringing the constants to the other side, we get a third equation of 6g minus 2f plus c equals minus 10. So now we have equation 1, equation 2, and equation 3, we have three equations and we have three unknowns, so now we can do our simultaneous equations with three variables to solve for g, f, and c, so we can write down what this equation looks like here in general. So to do that, we'll just write down our three equations again here, and first if we just label them, equation 1, 2, and 3. If we look at equation 1 and equation 2 first, and if we change the sign all the way along equation 1, so plus 2 changes to minus 2, plus 2f changes to minus 2f, plus c changes to minus c, and the minus 2 that we had up here is now going to be a plus 2. If we do that, we see that our c's, our plus c and our minus c cancel, and adding these two equations, we get a new equation, 
2g plus 4f equals minus 11, and we'll label that equation a. Now, if we take the second equation and the third equation down here, if we change the signs all the way along the second equation, so instead of plus 4, we have minus 4. Instead of plus 6, we now have minus 6. Instead of plus c, we have minus c. But instead of minus 13, we now have plus 13. Then, adding these two equations again, we end up cancelling our c's. We have minus 4g plus 6g is 2g. Minus 6f minus 2f is minus 8f plus 13 minus 10 is 3 and we'll call that equation B and if we take our equation A up here and our equation B up here now we can look at these two equations and we can try and solve for f and g so if we change our signs all the way across equation B Instead of a plus 2g we had down here, we now have a minus 2g. Instead of a minus 8f, we now have a plus 8f. And instead of 3, we have minus 3. Then we have plus 2g, minus 2g, and they cancel. And if we add these two equations, we get 4 plus 8 gives you 12f. Minus, minus 11 minus 3 is minus 14. So solving for f gives a value of f equal to minus 7 over 6. Then if we take all of equation a down here and substitute in our value for f, we can work out what g is. So we had in equation a, we had 2g. So we still have 2g plus 4 times f, so 4 times our value of f, minus 7 over 6, equals minus 11, still there. And if we simplify down this equation, we end up finding that g is minus 19 over 6. So now we've just found our f and our g. And now we just have to find our C. So on the last slide, we found that we had F is equal to minus 7 over 6. And we had G was equal to minus 19 over 6. That means if we look at one of our original three equations, so I've taken equation 1, we can fill in our value here of f in here and our value for g fills in here and then we can work through this equation to try and get c on its own. So multiplying out these two, 2 and 6, 2 divides into 6 3 times so we're left with a minus 19 over 3 2 goes into 6 3 times, so we're left with a minus 7 over 3 there. Then, if we multiply everything here by 3, so everything in this line multiplied by 3 to get rid of our fractions, we have minus 19 minus 7 plus 3c equals minus 6. Bringing these two constants over to the other side of the equals, we get 3c is minus 6 plus 26, so 3c is 20, so c is uh, 20 over 3. So then, now that we know our f, our g, and our c, we can fill these three numbers back into our original form x squared plus y squared plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c equals 0. 
So our G will go in here, our F in here, and our C will go in here. And when we do that, this is what our equation now looks like. So we have x squared plus y squared minus 19 over 3x minus 7 over 3y plus 20 over 3 equals 0. And in general, we don't like to have fractions in these equations if we can avoid it. So if we multiply this whole equation by 3, so instead of x squared, we'll have 3x squared plus 3y squared. And our fractions will cancel along here, so the final answer for the equation of that circle is 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 19x minus 7y plus 20 equals 0.